I will take the award for the worst vlogger in the world. Um, I will accept that crown. Let's go with this bow, it's so sad. <laughs> I just wanted to do a disclaimer before this vlog starts. Um, obviously, we are in such a strange situation. Um, I have a bubble of children. I have a bubble of year three children, so it's not like a normal uh, year three classroom. Um, the children I have, some are from my class originally, some are from the other year three class, so I have a really, really kind of mixed bag. Some children I know, some children I don't. Um, my timetable is crazy different. Um, the morning, we're trying to kind of keep it the same with English and maths. In the afternoon, we do have foundation, but sometimes it has to kind of um, have a shuffle round. The thing I found out about this kind of cohort that I have is they are crazy active. Like sometimes we do just kind of need to drop everything to have a run up and down the yard because they are just, they're not used to sitting at a desk. They're not used to being inside all the time. Um, they are lovely. This is a bit of a mismatched vlog. Um, so sometimes it doesn't show all the foundation subjects we are covering. Covering, that's a hard word, <laughs> but um, they are still getting kind of full access to the curriculum, whether that is in the normal way they are used to with a normal class or uh, the kind of new normal that we are looking at. I hope you enjoy it. I apologise it's a bit mismatched, but um, my main priority is always teaching the children. It's never to pick up a camera, never to film what I'm doing. Enjoy it. See you later. Good morning. Happy Monday. Um, I've just finished working out. That was a lovely angle. <laughs> um, I've just finished working out. I'm so tired today. I didn't get to sleep until like one last night. Um, so I'm just going to have my breakfast and have a little chill, I think. So um, I've had a very productive morning. I ended up like getting ready earlier and everything than I expected. Ate my breakfast, super speedy apparently. Um, so just got on with some science work because we are in science lead and we're trying to um, sort out the curriculum because we're in a 1.5 form entry. We want to make sure that um, we have full coverage and full like skills progression and it's it's really difficult. Um, so just did some extra work on that and I'm gonna carry that on um, probably when I get to school because I feel like I'm all sorted kind of like planning wise for the day. So I did most of that on Friday because I have my PPA then. So it is quarter past seven and I'm going to jet off to school. Watched Hamilton yesterday and I'm obsessed. So I think I'm gonna listen to that soundtrack on the way. Uh, we're all ready, all sorted. I'm wearing a top. I need to cut that thread, that's annoying. Uh, I think this is from H&M. Um, I got it in Edinburgh like years ago. Uh, and then just some black bottoms from Zara, and then just some Doc Martens. Cute! Hello, um, it is one minute past eight. I've been at school since about half seven um, and haven't really done anything productive. <laughs> been just like tidying up and sorting little bits um, for next year. I'm trying to like have less clutter so I can just kind of do a swift move. I'm gonna get on with that science stuff that I talked about before. Um, but kind of in the morning first thing, I really struggled with children coming in at staggered times and what to do with them because I couldn't start a task and then like leave them. So we always start with Joe Wicks and Cosmic Kids Yoga and it works a treat. Hello, it's lunchtime, it's quarter past. Um, my patience is so thin today and I don't know why, but we had a lovely morning. We did uh, Joe Wicks and yoga, then some English and then some time tables as well. So it was all a lot of fun, a bunch of fun. So I'm just gonna have lunch. So they did some research on their own on two people from Hidden Figures and they, oh, goodness me. Pizza. Well, it is 10 past five and I'm just about to leave to go home. Um, this afternoon we did lots of maths stuff, all about um, maths and measuring and did lots and lots of fun practical stuff. And then after school, I've just been working on the science curriculum for next year. We're looking at like a two year cycle. So I'm gonna go home and have some food because I'm so hungry. <laughs> Hello, it is 6.40. I've just finished working out. It was a killer. Um, and I'm now just gonna make a juice. I've made some fruit and I'm gonna sit down and eat it. Ooh. 
what a dream. We have some juice that looks disgusting. I put so much ginger in it. Uh, just some coffee and some granola. I've gone completely off plan for um, what I was reading and I'm trying to kind of focus on those stories that we teach children and children are very aware of and just kind of get a deeper meaning of them. And my goodness, did Daniel have some stresses? I am stressed reading it, but it's all good. We're all good in the head. Okay, goodbye. We've gone for the super cruise. I think the cruise will drop out, hopefully. Uh, jumper from Brandy Melville that I got years ago. A cute little scrunchie, the child I wore yesterday, and this my Doc Martens. Hello, it is five o'clock. I'm just about to go home and I realise I hadn't shown you anything at all today. Um, it's been a really practical day, if I am being honest. I haven't, um, we haven't done a lot of kind of um, sitting down and writing. We've had lots of discussion and um, lots of planning stuff for uh, the non chronological what we are writing on Friday. And then in maths, we looked at maths and that was all practical as well. So. <laughs> That's a really boring M. So we were looking at comparing maths and this is an example of one of the things they got in their books. Um, they drew the animal. This was just a PowerPoint from Classroom Secrets and then I had to say which one was the heaviest and we compared them and then we did that practically too. In English we started planning our non-chronological report and they just didn't get it so I had to do it kind of practically um, and a lot of whiteboard work. So we're going to pick that again up tomorrow because we're not writing it until the end of the week. Some of my children can do this at ridiculous speeds. <laughs> to see your first time you do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> My children have definitely done better than that. It's like the panic when you can't find it. People are like, what do teachers do when the children aren't here? That. Hello, good morning, happy Monday. Um, it's just literally turning 6 a.m. as we speak. Um, I've just kind of got up and floated around and I'm gonna have, do a workout before I go to school because I'm finding that um, when the mornings are lighter, I'm up earlier and be more productive in the morning and then go to bed earlier, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that and I'll speak to you soon, probably. Hello, um, workout complete. It is about 25 to seven. So I'm just gonna grab some breakfast and sort my life out. Um, recently I started using Active like to work out. I was just going off like um, like YouTube like and I still love them. But I find with Active, I seem to like push myself a little bit harder. I don't know why it is. I think because it's like, it seems like it's a trainer who's personal to you, if that makes sense. But it was Darcy who introduced me to it and it is amazing. I don't think I'll ever go back. I was shocked because it's a little bit expensive. But now that I've been using it for uh, like two weeks, they're, um, maybe three. I can't open my blueberries. Um, I think it's 100% worth it, so I'm gonna go for it. So I'm just gonna make breakfast and get ready and see you later. Amaze. I'm going to eat this, drink this, catch up on the world and um, have a shower. It's not Christmas, it's July, but this mug, do you know when you just like get emotionally attached to a mug? Anyone else? No? Okay. It is 10 past seven. I'm just about to set off for school. Just wearing black bands like I always do. Um, some collats, stripy collats that I've had for years, don't even know where they're from, and then just this black plain top from Primark. Woohoo! So this is our um, classroom, obviously set up so each child has like their individual things. This is a good one, it doesn't have any names on. Uh, so they have their books, they have their equipment all in their own boxes, and they kind of stay at that desk and do not go and like roam around and share anything, which is quite nice. Obviously we have like an outside area with a lot of times, but this is kind of like in our classroom, in our base, which is quite nice because it's my normal classroom. So it makes me happy. So this morning we planned our fantasy story using a story mountain. I used to hate story mountains um, and then recently became obsessed with them because I think they're super simple and not as confusing. So they have kind of the things they need to consider 
um, they have sentence starters and then they have some vocabulary that I would like them to use and some verb vocabulary they are not allowed to use. So this is the outcome of um, this lesson and I'm quite happy with it. These are kind of like three different examples with rogue objects, so names are covered up. Um, but um, I think they sound really exciting, so I'm excited to read them. I love it. I think this one's based on Twilight, which is hilarious. Horrifying, that's a nice word. So yeah. So in maths, we recapped year two shape knowledge. Um, so we had like a quiz about different shapes and they um, had to write down the information that they knew about that shape and draw a picture. And I just think it's a nice way to kind of find out what they do and don't know because this one really threw them the oxygen and they were like, I don't know what that is. So in our re, we looked at reincarnation and what that means to Hindus and um, it was a really interesting discussion, which I love when we have like a discussion lesson. This is like the second lesson we've done. Um, so we just had a recap on what they knew and then went over some misconceptions there and then went on to the reincarnation part. A lot of chat, chatty lesson. Hello, it is the end of the day. Um, you haven't seen my face all day, lucky you. But um, I just haven't had a chance. I got into school like normal time, about half seven-ish. And um, didn't have a chance to film anything because I was obviously preparing for the day and then the kind of time that I thought I would I was chatting to my head teacher about um, like stuff next year and science stuff and all that fun stuff um, which was fine and enjoyable and I feel like a weight's been lifted because I kind of know what I'm doing in like general life and then um, break time I was out on duty and played some football and was really good obviously and then uh, at lunchtime, uh, one of my friends, Hayley, who works at the school I work at, have, I have her little boy in my class and he has diabetes. So I was doing his like injection and helping out with all that stuff. So I've just been uber busy. It's gonna be a good week. So maybe this vlog might make it, maybe not. <laughs> but I'm gonna go home. It's like four-ish, um, half four, so. I'll see you when I get home. Hello, it is 10 past nine. No, it's not, it's 10 past seven. Um, and I've basically just been in this position for the past three hours. Um, I'm just proofreading over some of my reports and have to, we use like a system called Report Assist. So I have to like copy stuff into that that I've done on Word because um, I just don't get along with the program very well. Um, but just, that's a story for another time. I'm also watching 13 Reasons Why. Um, I hate the fourth season and probably the third season of 13 Reasons Why because it's traumatizing. Like, I just really don't like it. Like, it's scaring me, she says, while still watching it. Um, and I adored the book when I was younger, like the, the, the first season is based on. I adored it. Um, it's so well written, like Jay Asher is amazing. But I just, like, how they got it onto four seasons, like, I don't understand. Um, but now I'm, like, in it, so I need to find out who this um, shooter is and who the, it's just, it's a whole thing. I'm not helping myself, really. So um, I'm probably going to do work for, like, another 20 minutes. I haven't, like, fully been doing work. I've been, like, lazing around and FaceTiming and eating my tea and various things. And then have a shower and then go to bed. Who's texting? I've got six messages. Look at me. I am so. I. Oh, it's from the same person. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Hello. Happy Tuesday. Um, it is currently half past seven. Um, I didn't get up. Usually, I'm in a routine where I kind of get up earlier and work out and do all that fun stuff. Um. But instead, I stayed in bed today because I just woke up and wasn't feeling it and felt a bit rubbish. I swear someone is ringing my doorbell at half past two or I'm having a reoccurring nightmare that someone is ringing my doorbell at half past two in the morning because I woke up and couldn't get back to sleep and then was in a mad panic. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go to school. It's sports week this week. So it's like virtual sports games for you to usually kind of like for our county, but obviously they've had to be put off. So um, I'm gonna have like a little mini social distance sports day type thing. Yeah, I'll see you there.
outfit for nobody who cares. Um, I think this is from Under Armour, but I got it from TK Maxx. I'm obsessed with it. It's like lightweight enough not to be like drowning you um, and feel like you're in like a weighted jacket. I love it. Uh, my shorts are just Nike. Uh, my shorts, my leggings are Nike. And then I've just got some trainers on. Sports chic. We love it. Hello, it's like quarter to six. I'm just about to go home and then I realise I haven't shown you anything at all today because we've been outside for most of the day. Um, it's been really sunny and it's virtual sports week, so I've been doing lots of stuff there. Um, we, in English, they wrote a fantasy character description ready for writing our story for fantasy day tomorrow. Um, and I was really impressed with them. I love that they haven't forgotten how to write. Amazing. Hello. Um, the vlog just ends here. Like, I warned you that it was mismatched, but I don't think you realised how mismatched it was going to be. Um, I had an amazing week, I had so much fun. Um, we started off with uh, fantasy stories and then we finished with our non-chronological reports. In maths we were looking at maths um, and we did loads of practical stuff there which is why it's not evidence as much. But um, this was not a normal week because we're not in a normal situation. But I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, I'm sorry, I suppose. See you later.